Been living this lavish, yes, I've been had it. I'm a real princess, these bitches is captives. What's all that static? Catch me in traffic. Been doing this shit, my music is clapping. Hey guys, it's Tempest and today we'll be walking to the studio and today we'll be talking about how to pick the right college for me. So, college is about this time around when people are selecting their colleges now. It is March, so like I'm pretty sure regular decisions should be coming out by now, like acceptance. Um, I know for me, like my senior year, I actually did early action because I wanted to have limited time to figure out what college i wanted to be and i did not want to do that so first thing first i'm going to let y'all know that y'all should do um early action not early decision but early action um early action is basically when you send your application early and you get a notice early um or you get an acceptance early and i feel like that helps a lot because you know you won't have to be a crunch time to figure out what college you want to be in. Um, it's also very, like, spaced out with time. You don't have to rush. I think it was really relaxing for me. Also, because I was really stuck between two colleges. And having that time really helped me. Rather than it was a regular decision, I might have not made the right choice. If you know what I'm saying. If one college was sent the one before the other one, I might have already signed that one. And then been done a deal. Then, so that's my one my first tip is do early action my second tip is honestly just go on the internet right now and look up colleges <laughs> just search college um also like whatever interests you so for example dance i love dance so i might look up dance colleges or um, a learning disability college um or a college that has this learning disability services, um, just in case if you don't actually want to go to learning disability school. I only say this because I have one. So my senior, I was really looking at colleges who had a really good learning disability program. Um, if you want sports, you know, schools that have, you know, D1 colleges, schools that have great athletic programs, great coaches, things like that. Um, and food's a big thing for you. Schools with big, I mean, schools with great food. What's the cafeteria look like? Um, there's a lot of reviews on, like, I think it's, I can't remember them, but I'll link them down below where there's a lot of, like, colleges reviews. And they actually, like, grade the college on, like, diversity, um, professors, community, education, stuff like that. It was really helpful for me when I got to my last choice. So I think I just gave y'all three reasons. Um, the fourth one would be really like get involved in the school. Not like after the fact, but I'm saying like orientation, like really get out there, really meet some people, really um, dig deep into the activities and really like observe what's happening. Um, but don't make it like such a big observe that you're not like enjoying yourself and you're just looking like a robot trying to figure out like haha um i know for myself like really being on the college then just reading stuff was better for me personally um that's actually how i decided of where i wanted to go um and Having a pro and con list at the end of the day to decide what college you want to do is a big yes ma'am uh, or yes sir. Um, it's just yes sir. Okay. Um, because for two colleges, one college was in Massachusetts, the other one was in Florida. I really both did pros and cons for both of them because I, I just didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. And I wanted to make sure that I felt confident in my choice. Um... Also, don't be afraid to reach out to the admissions, um, like, counselors that you have. For, like, I know they do for, like, each state or each region. Um, don't be afraid to get close to them because once you get close, you'll feel comfortable asking any questions that you may have. Um, I know for my admissions counselor I had when I was going to think about Lynn University, Omar, he was really dope. Um, really helped me throughout the decision process of trying to figure out what school I wanted to go to, or in, in particularly that school. Um, also, really just 
created a great bond. When I told Ashley, called him and told him I wasn't going to go to that school. Um, and it was a very great conversation. Um, I feel like also like pay attention to like how much that admissions counselor, like how much they interact with you because for me, that just showed, like, comfortability. I was like, okay, okay. You know, the staff is really nice. Um, that was one of the pros for that school, but whatever. Um, no, hate to learn, love learn. Um, but that's another thing. Um, and, like, another room is, like, when you get accepted, most of the time, they have, like, these Facebook group chats or, like, Twitter group chats or whatever group chats, messages group chats. Um... I'm an introvert, so, like, I wasn't very comfortable with those group chats, but y'all was like, you know what, I'm in college, well, I'm going to be in college, I might as well, you know, you never know, I can meet my little besties or something like that, I was ugly, let me not do that again, um, so I tried it, there was a lot of group chats that I did not like, um, or felt uncomfortable in, you know, half the time I really paid attention to what people were saying, because you have to remember, like, those people are going to be in your class. I'm class of 2023. Period. And I was really trying to figure out people's, like, vibe. I know that, like, most people in the group chats is not the whole college in a total. But it is the people you will be graduating with. And most of the time, the people you will be having your freshman classes in for first semester and second semester. So, I really pay attention to those. Um, another thing is climate like i know climate isn't a big deal but for me it was um i could either pick a school that was really hot really like sweaty everything would have just uh, 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 no seasons or some are cold they have seasons where i'm used to because i live in maryland um and i could do whatever i wanted still think cute you know whatever it's not a big deal but it's something that i should i took it and maybe you should take in too or maybe you can take into in the consideration of what college you want to take in um, also really important is look at the professor's reviews. Um, as I was saying previously, previously, previously about like the reviews of the college, really look at the professors and what people are saying y'all, because I mean, it is, you do it doesn't mean you have to believe everything that someone says, but really like look into that, really look into their social media. I mean, like your FBI up in here. Okay. Make sure you search up everything. Okay. Cause you want to make sure everything's good. Um, and also, like, when you go to the college, make sure you feel very warm, very comfortable, very, like, when I step on this campus, I feel like I can take over the campus, um, or just feel like, you know, I'm here, and I'll be okay, you know, emotions like that is something you really want to pay attention to. But if you go on the campus and you're already starting to, ugh, it's disgusting, then maybe you should really, like, take that into consideration. Um, I actually have a funny story about that. The college that I'm at now, that's actually the first feeling I had was not good. Did not want to be there, but I think that's just because I had the Florida school on mind the whole time, and I wasn't really, like, in it um, when I did the campus tour. But that's another story for another day. Um... So, like, stuff like that, like, you should really, like, pay attention to, um, getting to know people, um, really communicating with anybody, um, just having fun in the process because I know, like, searching is very stressful and I know that it can just, anxiety can be up, it's just a lot, but just know that, like, at the end of the day, you're going to make the right decision for you and if it's not, then you can always transfer and another thing is college is not for everyone. So if, you know, like, it's okay. It's okay. Um, college for me as a freshman um, and having my freshman year split in half because of COVID-19, it's very harsh because it's like, you know, you just started getting used to the routines and the people there. I just made my really close bond with these like five girls and now okay um no we're so close that i love them to death but you know it's like i wish i was with them now for the experience of my for end to end my freshman year um but it's okay you know everything happens for a reason i know my sophomore year will be even better um also take in account that freshman year goes really quick i also feel like it goes faster than high school um 
I know that there's a lot of free time in college. Um, so, when you're also searching, like, make sure they have clubs and stuff like that. So, you can, you know, stay on top of your stuff. Um, so, yeah, those are, like, a few things that, or a few tips that could help you decide what college you want to be in or college that might interest your eye. Um, I really hope these helped you. And if they did, you know, comment down below in the comment section. Because I really want to know. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always just comment down below. Or you can actually send me a DM on Instagram at T-T-M-P-Y-Y. Um, and I will respond. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my first video. And I hope you guys subscribe. Bye.